Recently, YCN had a chance to sit down with Jay Gamble, general manager at Mount Sunapee Resort, and asked him to reflect on the years that he and his team have been managing the ski area. We asked him to give us a little history on how this team came to take over the operations there. In 1996, the New Hampshire legislature passed uh, a law directing the Department of Resources and Economic Development to prepare a request for proposals for the leasing of Mount Sunapee and Cannon Mountain ski areas. And an RFP was developed in the fall of 1997. In January of 1998, the request for proposals was released to the public. And Okemo submitted a proposal for the operation of Mount Sunapee and was chosen as the finalist and was awarded the lease of Mount Sunapee effective on July 1, 1998. We then asked Jay to describe what they've done at Mount Sunapee since taking over from the state. Uh, most of the work we've done since 19, 1998 has been to improve the facilities at Mount Sunapee, to improve the winter skiing experience, as well as recently we've added a summer adventure park. So we've in the summer of 1998, we replaced the old Sun Bowl double chairlift with a quad chairlift. That chairlift is actually being replaced again now, 16 years later, with a high-speed express quad chairlift, which will open for the winter ski season this year. We also replaced the Summit triple chairlift in the summer of 1998 with a high-speed express quad chairlift, the Sun Express. Then in the summer of 1999, we replaced the old North Peak Base Lodge, which was built in 1948 with the new Sunapee Base Lodge. Mm -hmm. We've added the Children Learning Center building. We've added the Alpine Racing Competition Center building. We also replaced the 1965 Province Double Chairlift with a quad chairlift in our novice learning area. Uh, Snowmaking improvements. Uh, a lot of building maintenance you know, on the buildings that uh, have not been replaced, but substantial maintenance on those. The Summit Lodge, the Spruce Lodge, where we are today. Mm -hmm. uh, upgrades to, you know, we've, we've tried to keep Mount Sunapee in balance with the facilities, whether it be maintenance facilities, public facilities, snowmaking, lifts, trails. We've added a few new ski trails. We've added snowmaking to some trails that did not have snowmaking. So, uh, a lot of work's happened since 1998. Our capital investment since 1998 uh, with this summer is going to be over 17, approaching 18 million dollars. YCN then asked him about the future and how they plan for it. Our lease agreement with the state of New Hampshire requires that every five years we do a master development plan or update the previous plan. On June 1st of this year, we submitted our fourth five-year master development plan since we've been here. And for the last three master development plans, we proposed expanding Mount Sunapee on the western flank, an area we call the West Bowl. It would be one primary chairlift, about 5,100 feet long. It'd be an express quad chairlift mm -hmm. with probably four top to bottom trails plus some interconnection trails. 75 to 80 acres of new skiing, probably be a parking lot and a satellite base lodge, a warming hut, limited facilities base lodge at the bottom, uh, but you never can tell, could be a little bit bigger, depends on what the needs are. Uh, and that project could easily be a 10 to 12, 14 million dollar project when it's all built and done. Uh, and so, and I, and I would also say the West Bowl expansion, we said in our master plans it would be the only expansion of the Mount Sunapee area that we would propose in our 40-year lease. We asked how the mountain has impacted the economy in the area. When we arrived in 1998 there were 14 full-time year-round employees and annual payroll was in the 960,000 range. Mount Sunapee currently has 34 full-time year-round employees and our payroll is almost $4 million now. So a substantial economic impact in direct employment has occurred since 1998. 
and with the West Bowl expansion, we would expect to add more full-time year-round jobs, more full-time seasonal jobs, and while I don't know exactly a numerical value on what total payroll would be, it would be continuing the growth that we've seen since 1998 in providing employment in our region. Finally, we asked Jay, what keeps you here? Oh, I love Mount Sunapee. Mount Sunapee truly is a special place. And, you know, there's a, there's a tremendous amount of heritage at Mount Sunapee. Uh, we meet people all the time in, whether it be Vermont, Colorado, or any other state in the nation, and say, I learned to ski at Mount Sunapee. And, and that's still happening today. People learn to ski at Mount Sunapee. And that's in the wintertime. Mount Sunapee opens the mountains up to people. But in the summertime, Mount Sunapee also opens the mountains up for people to enjoy. And we're very happy to be able to be stewards of Mount Sunapee during our career. It's, it's an exciting place to be. Mount Sunapee is a major part of what makes our region the great place to live, work, and play. It's not too late to enjoy some of their fall activities, and soon we'll be on the mountain doing what they have been so highly recognized for, skiing and boarding. For more information about what's happening at Mount Sunapee, go to their website, mountsunapeeresort.com. Check out more videos from the Kearsarge Chronicle here. And don't forget to click subscribe to keep up with everything going on in the Kearsarge Lake Sunapee region.